Well, hello again, and thanks for joining me here on Classic Dirt Bike TV. And uh, once again, thank you very much for your support and, of course, for the many comments that you're leaving on my recent uh, video postings. Now, coming up in my uh, channel in the next uh, few weeks, we will be making another uh, trip to the south of the country to cover another fantastic collection of old uh, vintage race bikes. And this time it's the turn of Rob Hughes, who has uh, reputedly one of the biggest CCM collections on the planet. And uh, we'll be taking a look around at uh, Rob Hughes's lovely classic CCMs in the next uh, couple of weeks. So look out for all those bikes being posted on my channel uh, soon after. But until then, we're going to take a look at a nice uh, four-stroke Honda. And this bike belongs to uh, Mark Kenny. And uh, this is his uh, lovely 600 uh, twin shocker. So uh, without any further delay, let's just jump straight into the video. Now this lovely looking uh, big four stroker belongs to Scottish racer uh, Mark Kenny. Now this bike is just uh, one of the many big Honda four strokes that Mark uh, currently owns as he also has a couple of big uh, HPF Hondas in his workshop uh, as well. Now, although the bike looks uh, familiar, it's quite a rare machine in that it has a specially designed Dutch-made C&J steel frame. And of course, the chassis geometry is based around the iconic 1981 Michael 490 Mega 2. Now, Mark did uh, tell me that this bike is uh, still a work in progress uh, type of machine as he is uh, continually making adjustments and improvements to the bike on a regular uh, basis. Although having said that, uh, Mark has already chalked up uh, many race wins on this bike and if you've been uh, watching my classic Dirt Bike TV channel recently, you'll already have seen how quick uh, Mark is on this uh, four banger Honda if you've uh, been looking at the racing footage from the Scottish Classic Racing Club's Round 2 event uh, from Thornhill, where of course you can see Mark uh, racing this bike in the pre-1984 twin shot class. So if you haven't already seen this bike in action on the track, then it's certainly uh, worth a look. Now the motor is a 1988 Honda XR600 and it's uh, basically in standard trim and it has a nickel uh, plated barrel. Now these big XR600s of course have Honda's RFVC cylinder head or radial four valve combustion uh, to give it its full title. Now they also had a five speed uh, gearbox and uh, the oil for the motor on this bike is housed in the CNJ uh, chassis which is uh, then pumped around the motor and then returned uh, to the frame. But these are certainly big lumps, these 600 XR Honda motors, but uh, they're very strong, very powerful, and of course, extremely reliable. Now, Mark is using a single uh, big Bakuni carburetor to feed that thirsty Honda motor uh, with its fuel, and uh, the carburetor uh, gets its air supply from a custom made alloy air box which is built around the C and J uh, chassis. Now again, an alloy engine guard has been fitted to the bottom of the frame down tube uh, to protect those precious engine casings from any damage that they may uh, encounter on the racetrack. Now the bike's front suspension units are a pair of 43mm Kayaba forks and these have been taken uh, from a Suzuki uh, model and uh, again Mark has used the front brake hub from the Suzuki to supply the brakes for his new bike. But these are uh, quite tough suspension units, these big Kayabas and uh, coupled with this uh, quite decent Suzuki uh, brake hub they should uh, all work uh, very well together. Now for the bike's rear suspension units, Mark's uh, opted for a pair of Maxton piggyback uh, shocks and uh, Mark said that these are very 
good quality and they offer uh, plenty scope for adjustment uh, to the preload and uh, damping. But they're also fully rebuildable, so uh, that's another plus point when it comes to repair or servicing these suspension units uh, in the workshop. Now this alloy swing arm is a Thor made unit and uh, this part was uh, basically designed for a 490 uh, Maiko and is uh, of course a straight fit on the chassis because of course the frame has the very same uh, parameters and measurements as the big uh, 490 Maiko. Now in this shot you can see exactly where the engine oil for the motor is housed in the CNJ frame. You just uh, unscrew this little uh, filler cap and then pour in a measured amount of uh, lubricant and uh, you can also see the oil return pipe there on the right hand side of the filler. Now Mark's uh, quite unique machine as you'd expect uh, uses other Honda parts of course and the bike's fuel tank is uh, borrowed from a Honda CR250 uh, twin shocker from the late uh, 1970s. Now uh, once again the seat on this bike is taken from a CR250 Honda and uh, this was basically just a bolt on fit onto this uh, lovely uh, CNJ uh, frame. Now these big XRs as you know were uh, single cylinder bikes but they had a twin port cylinder head which uh, basically of course meant two exhaust ports and uh, once again Mark commissioned a custom made exhaust system uh, with uh, two stainless steel header pipes running down either side of the motor and then of course leading on to these two uh, megaphone tailpipes at the rear. Now I'm sure you don't need me to tell you what kind of sound comes out of the back of these pipes but uh, certainly check out my video of Mark uh, racing this bike at the Scottish Classic Round 2 event at Thornhill and you'll find out just what a sweet sound this uh, big bike makes. Now in the bike's controls department Mark's uh, fitted a set of high quality Rikon uh, levers and adjusters and he, he's also had a pair of custom made uh, triple clamps manufactured that uh, look like they've had a, a Cerakote uh, coating uh, placed on them. But you have to say that uh, this is a belter of a bike, this uh, machine of marks and as I said it's just recently won the pre-1984 class outright at that uh, Scottish Classic event a couple of uh, weeks ago and Mark uh, was racing this bike against some top riders who were uh, on their 490 Michaels and uh, the other bikes of course certainly had to work very hard to keep pace with this big 4 banger Honda. Now originally these big XR600 engines uh, were the tried and trusted uh, XR500 motors that were then bored out uh, to produce uh, more power and as I remember the road going big uh, XR600 trail bikes were fed by a twin uh, carburetor uh, setup. But in terms of these big XR600 motors reliability they're uh, almost unbreakable. Uh, that is of course if you just keep on top of any small maintenance issues that can crop up from time to time and of course service them regularly. Although in terms of a four stroker for motocross uh, they may not uh, appear to be the lightest of power plants to throw around a racetrack but uh, Mark says that uh, when you get this big bike on the move the weight uh, quickly disappears and that certainly appears to be the case when you see this big Honda leave the start line. But uh, once again another very unique custom built bike and uh, as I mentioned previously this is still a work in progress type of machine as Mark is forever making improvements to fine tune the bike but he said that uh, these improvements are mainly focused on the bike's front and rear suspension 
and not uh, specifically aimed at the Honda XR600's uh, power plant. Although I have to say that Marks uh, certainly put together a fine racing package here by using that Dutch-made C and J frame which is based around the parameters of the 81 uh, Michael and of course by choosing the XR600 motor and the Suzuki front suspension with the uh, Michael Thor swing arm and of course the Maxton rear shocks. I'm sure there'll be many more race wins for this big beauty when Mark gets it back onto the start line. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that uh, quite brief look around at Mark Kenny's uh, lovely Honda uh, Twin Shocker. Uh, a nice looking machine and of course uh, very quick on the racetrack. If you've been uh, paying attention to some of my recent video postings and you will be able to see uh, that particular bike of course racing uh, on the track. But as I mentioned uh, in the next week or so we will be making the trip to the south of the country to uh, film Rob Hughes's lovely collection of CCM uh, race bikes. Now there's uh, quite a few of these bikes in Rob's collection and we will be featuring uh, each and every one here on my channel soon uh, after my return. So if you would uh, like to take a look at them, then please consider uh, subscribing uh, to my channel. But until then, everybody continue to be safe and well and uh, we'll all uh, get together uh, once again sometime to talk about more uh, vintage iron right here on your favourite classic dirt bike TV channel. <laughs>